You're going there, fellas? You're fucking kidding me. We've got the Zundit. <laughs> the Zundit 8. It's Sunday's Trappist Beer Fest. And I love the 10. I have the Zundit 10. Yeah. And I thought that was the best of all the Trappist beers that I've tried. I've been doing them on a Sunday. I missed a few. So what does the 10 mean? Is 10%? This is 8%. I think it is, but... Yeah, I think that's what it means. But then you have, like, doubles and triples Weird. and things like that. So, yeah, this is... Um, I haven't tried this one. This is their number 8. So, 8%. Oh, look at that. That's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do. Lovely. All right, guys. There's not much... Um... <coughs> What would you call it? The sediment in that one, is it? No, it's clean as. The the first the, the ten was clean. Cheers, mate. Cheers, bro. Well it doesn't taste like Carlton Draft, does it? <laughs> That's beautiful. Mm. Heaps of body. Mm. Has it got chocolate in there or something? Something different. Oh, that's delicious too. Mm. It's really malty. It's almost more malty than the tan. That's rich as fuck, isn't it? It's beautiful. Mmm. Delicious, guys. Look out for this. And the tan, of course. I think that is extremely malty, this one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just getting an aftertaste again. Yeah, that's, whew. It's one of those beers you can't just drop it down your throat. You've got to swirl it around your mouth three, four times and just keep savouring that delicious. I reckon it's pretty close to a meal by itself. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Oh. Yeah, if you... A couple of bits of bread and be a malt sandwich, wouldn't it? Bloody oath, mate. That's yeah. good. Ripper. Mm. We're not having uh, two bits of bread, though. Or Vegemite on our bread. But no. I don't mind it. Vegemite. And I like a little bit of, like, a soft cheese with my Vegemite. So I do fresh toast and then you... Vegemite, butter, Vegemite, and then soft cheese, like a double brie or something. Oh, oh I love it. I love it. Vegemite, mate. You're kidding. Ooh, so you got the Vegemite crap. is made out of um, yeast. the proceeds of uh, making beer. Yeast extract. Yeah, right. the yeast extract. That's it, mate. It's a classic. So we got the, um, the crab and bacon fried rice for dinner tonight. Mate. Oh, thank you very much, Trevor. I cooked that up for lunch. Fuck, it was delicious. Oh, you get these cans of crab. Crab meat? Yeah, at uh, Coles. And it's not always there. Sells out all the time. They're about four bucks a can. Three eighty or something like that. They're bloody well worth it. A lot less mucking around than buying a real crab and cooking up and getting the meat out. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, if I did that, the uh, crab wouldn't end up in the fried rice, mate. I'd eat it all. <laughs> I would. That's right. <laughs> I had this crab fried rice in Thailand, and that was with fresh crab. And fuck, that was the best crab fried rice I've ever had. But I try to emulate it when I cook. And my trick for crab fried rice is using fresh rice. Oh, yeah. So it's more fluffy. It's all right to make a fry rice. You use old rice usually. Yes, correct. But not for crab. If you're doing oh, a crab so, fry rice, you use the fresh rice. So you need that glutinous sort of <sighs> taste to get the crab into it. Do you? You don't fry it much. No. Okay. You you. So you because the idea of frying it around, it, you're yeah. fluffing it around with the the crab. And the egg and stuff, you're fluffing it, and it's light and it's it's 
different. Yeah, it's a different experience. And I know you like white pepper with it, though. Always. Mm. White pepper and chilli. I put one habanero in there, but they're not hot at all. Because it's not summer yet. We haven't got enough sunshine for hot chilies. But you'll like it. All right. <laughs> You're kidding. All right, guys. This is a lovely beer, isn't it? Bloody yes. Mmm. So you reckon the 10 is uh, just as good as this, or what? Zander 10? Oh, the Zander 10 is probably, the other day, one week that I didn't do a video on a Sunday, I thought I bought the 8, and I got home and I bought the 10 again. Ah, oh, right, okay. And I so I've had two of the 10s, I love it. It's really good. This is just the same almost. It's it's almost as good. It's ten percent the other one, and this one's eight percent. So there's a little difference, but where is it made? What country? This one's from Holland. I'm pretty sure. Netherlands. It looks like a a Dutch name yeah, of some Nether kind. Netherlands. Netherlands. Yep. Sprechen in Netherlands. Clumbachin. Brow Woodridge. Brood. 8%. Hey, that's delicious. Keep it. Oyster Bleeft. You're fucking kidding me. This is beautiful. It is, isn't it? You want a connoisseur beer, this would be one that you'd uh, put on a list, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of my top beers of all time. It's under, it's under 10, 8. Fucking first time of that, that's lovely. Well, what do you reckon? To, I, One I, of your top tens? I reckon. In the world, for all time beers. For a good taste? Yeah. Bloody oath. That's lovely. Although, I'm trying to think of the name of that Polish beer that I had a couple of weeks ago. Oh, there's some fucking cracking beers out there. Those, there, those mate. Poles make good, oh, good shit, beer, yeah, mate. Yeah, they've got Ooh. some good ones and dark and strong ones too. There used to be a Polish restaurant at Warrandyte. Uh, Warburton and it was like a pub restaurant and I'd go there and always try all their beers they had some cracking beers Polish 6% 6.5% dark ones and yeah lovely oh yeah 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 yeah. Another you one remember you that beat. joint yeah yeah, yeah. They, had, this... they had some grouse looking Polish sheilas behind the jump oh, well, the... Mate. Yeah. oh my god that's always nice isn't it if they're all looking like that, I'm going to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving to Poland when the missus dies. <laughs> oh, don't oh, wish no. that up on you, but anyway. No. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm going to Poland for a while. You're fucking kidding. Oh, mate. That's lovely beer. Cheers, Steve. Thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome, mate. Thank you for the beer. No, cheers.